comes from. It refers us to George Orwell's famous novel, 1984. In all this fictional society, everyone is under the surveillance of Big Brother. And uh, this dystopia remains relevant today. Think about our cybersecurity, or maybe insecurity. It seems that Orwell's Big Brother never gets old, and he's still watching us. Today, um, number of likes is an indicator of beauty. A thousand of followers is a sign of success. Our life is a worldwide web. We are a huge database. Do you disagree? Uh, well, um, just look at the map of the internet connected devices. And remember my words, our world is a huge web. Two years ago, company Ubisoft released a computer game called uh, Watch Dogs. Now, the main idea of this game is a cyber espionage. Um, and uh, the hero of this game uh, uses a smartphone instead of a weapon. So uh, this game, Watch Dogs, is, um, Watch Dogs, is more than just a game. It's a reflection of our hyper-information society. Um, um, during the creation of this game, authors followed the concept of the digital shadow. Digital shadows are the traces that live in the world of digital information connecting to the internet. Such trace is a prototype of a new type of electronic dust um, or database, and this is our huge data avatar. Um, Uh, but uh, we constantly send uh, to the internet the details of our lives. But who is going to collect all this information rubbish, you ask me? Uh, in fact, there is such James Bond hiding under the nice name cookies. Uh, cookies uh, record our movements on the internet with one purpose, to learn uh, about our interests as much as possible. Uh, then cookies provide this information to analytical companies. Uh, but what does it mean for us? Uh, girls who post uh, cat photos uh, will see an internet advertisement of a new brand of a cat store. Uh, boys discussing devices uh, will get offered to buy a new smartphone. In all cases, this advertising is closely related to our interests. And of course, it's incredibly good for sellers. The digital data is in so-called clouds, uh, which are protected better than fortresses. Uh, Google keeps the history of our requests for five years. Uh, personally, I don't remember what I was interested in last week. But if someone comes to Google and asks, what was this girl interested in? Um, Google will probably answer this question better than me. But do we have access to our data on the internet? It's a good question. Uh, uh, remember this phrase. Maria Gonzalez was the first who successfully defended a so-called right to be forgotten. On the internet, he found an announcement regarding the first sale of his house arising from the debt. Uh, he asked, asked Google to remove this data because it was no longer relevant. Moreover, it harmed his business advisor career. But Google refused. Then, uh, Maria appealed uh, to the Court of Justice of the European Union. And surprisingly, uh, Maria won the internet giant. And Google removed this data. Uh, then Peter Steiner created his famous cartoon with the caption on the internet nobody knows you a dog. Uh, the internet was pretty much terra incognita for most of people. A few years later it was completely of its time. Uh, today dating sites, uh, chat rooms and forums are full of users who claim to be someone they are not. Uh, age, gender, race, appearance can all be fabricated under the veil of the internet. Uh, for example, uh, some time ago, uh, an account of um, uh, Uma Compton and her stand scandalous songs uh, made a lot of noise in the English-speaking part of the internet. 
As it turned out, uh, this, this person was a fake. But this page on the website Vantactic belongs to real person, Natalia Ulyanina, who lives in Moscow region in Russia. Uh, someone uh, simply gets photos from Natalia's page and uses them as photos of non-existent but popular singer. So you can see someone can uh, easily steal your face on the internet. Uh, some faces are instantly recognizable, uh, but your face is not, mm, or is it? Photographer from St. Petersburg uh, took photos of the strangers in public places and tracked them down using the free facial recognition application, which scans uh, publicly available photos on the social media site contact. The photographer learned a lot about person's life without any contact. Uh, the experiment called Your Face is a Big Data was posted online. And the results highlight how people think that they are sharing information only with friends and families. Our reality is um, this information is virtually public. Our privacy and security is under threat of companies and governments. Check your privacy settings, be careful, and please think twice before posting something online. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, you're welcome.